Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Hope you are doing well. It's an honor to me to be on the stage of TEDx World and give a speech to you. We all know living is bad. We have learned it in school, and there are a lot of posters to remind us not to litter. However, however, we find it easier to throw away our bottle of water on the ground, or I don't know, banana peels, cigarette butts, instead holding it until we find a litter bin and throw it there. My name is Farouk Lamidzinov. Throughout my life, I have witnessed some of the worst way of littering that you could possibly imagine. I have seen people who throw their garbage inside of their cars on the roadway, which could potentially cause very dangerous car accidents. I've seen people who leave their garbage on the ground when there is an empty cache near feet away. Littering is slowly, slowly, but surely killing us. Littering yields has no positive side effects. Littering is destructive, at the same time dangerous. Littering is pollution. Littering is quite simply wrong. How many of you throw your trash on the ground. Can you please raise your hand? But unfortunately, majority did, including me. But we cannot change our past actions, our past behaviors, but we can change it now in present for a future sustainability, for the survival of our young generations. There is a good quote. If you want to change the world, start with yourselves. So guys, let's start with ourselves. Now, I will tell you a little story, an experience that helped me to change, that stopped me from littering. I like reading. In the very beginning, I have read some books, articles about littering, how it was killing the animals overseas, causing climate change, and many other things. At that time, I have started thinking that there are no any litters in our country. If there are, it should be very few. In order to make me sure, I have just observed the people who are surrounded me, like my family members, like brothers, sisters, relatives, friends, and the people who are close to me. You know what? They just impressed me with their actions. They literally throw their chewed gums, cigarette butts, banana peels, whatever left over on the ground. And it looks very odd and not cultural, from the side, not considering the other impacts of littering. At that time, I have promised to myself that I never ever litter anymore. One of my teachers mentioned that having no trash cans cannot be reason to throw your garbage on the ground. There are plenty of trash cans available today. Even in some places, they are categorized into three types, paper, metal, and the rest. Even in this situation, people don't litter into right littering. Littering is becoming an issue in a global scale. Every year, solid household waste is increasing by one person per person. In our country, 7 million tons of waste is generated. Did you know that for the decomposition of paper towel, it takes three weeks Banana peels, four weeks. Cotton gloves, four months. Cigarette residuals, 11 years. Plastic bottle, 50 years. Aluminum can, one and 50 years. Plastic dream bottle, four and 50 years. And glass bottle, one million years. These are the best that we generate and throw on a daily basis. Besides that, Littering has a great impact to animals too. Hungry animals just to get their head stuck in the discarded jar scans, which can lead to death. Additionally, it genuinely saddens me when people disrespect street cleaners or sweepers. Even some find them disgusting. However, they are the most significant individuals in our planet because they are sanitizing the place where we pollute. What I'm trying to say to you guys, finally, 
we have to realize that Earth is not ours. We are just guests here. Let's behave properly. Thank you very much.